exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. May you enter into a mystery which is an awareness of yet one another's presence. No more a physical than spiritual, warm and near when you guys are side by side, when you're in a separate room, and when you're across countries. Bart and Kirsten are so well balanced, hard working, and driven, and I am so glad that I get to witness a love like theirs. Kirsten, you are my sister, my best friend. I'm one person I absolutely can't live without. I'm Bart, I won't tell you that she's all yours, so I guess I'll say she's all ours. <laughs> When disagreement or hardship arises, turn to them. Turn them to you for peace and comfort. When happiness abounds, lead them to praise you as one. In every season, anchor them in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If everybody could please raise their glass, and with the wise words of Jim Halbert from the office, you have to take a chance on something sometimes. So here's to forever, and after taking that chance, cheers to the new Mr. and Mrs. Adlow. And so I asked the question, how'd you meet? And let's see, Bart, you said you were playing basketball. It was going to be three on three, or one person short. You're looking around, nobody came along, and this beautiful woman walked out of the locker room. And so there was three on three, but you said that nobody else would guard her, okay? And so you got in and you jumped into the game. <laughs> We're both dripping sweat. I'm, I'm nervous about having heart surgery right now. <laughs> I think that, you know, what we need to do is we always need to remember how we met, uh, that excitement, that fun. And just imagine if somebody else had been guarding you, except for this guy right here, how things would turn. The smallest things in life, I mean, really think about that. The very smallest things in life can ricochet us away in different, different directions. If you didn't feel like playing basketball that day, if you walked out later and somebody else happened to walk up, just the, the smallest coincidences in life can start something that is just unbelievable. When you, when you start your life, when you move through your life, when you get through the difficult times in life, go back to the very first time you met and laugh about that. It's gonna really, truly, it's gonna ease everything. I love you too. Oh, this is such a great day. <laughs> Beyond the waves of an ever Everything I, I want to do, I want to do for you and uh, for our future. I'm looking forward to, to every day from this day forward, just like I've cherished the days that we've had together and to the next chapter of our journey. I'll be. <laughs> <laughs>
invite you to seal the covenant of marriage with a kiss. My privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Bart and Kirsten Zadlow. choose to tackle life with, my rock, my support, the father to our future children, but today the one I'll call my husband. Thank you for always allowing me to be myself, encouraging me to follow my dreams, and showing me that I have what it takes to get there. Thank you for always going above and beyond for me and for others around you. You are of the highest kind, quality, and order, supreme. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> They've always kind of had that mindset of, hey, we are not perfect, but we're going to build. We're going to be better. They are both really, really competitive, very competitive, and they've competed against each other. But when it comes to a relationship, they're not competing against each other. They're not trying to be better than each other. They're working together as a team. And that is something that I've always appreciated and like just looked at and like, wow, these two love each other. So with that being said, let's give it up to the Mrs. and Mr. Zadlow. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you everyone for being here. I love both of you. Every time you come to a spot, every time you have come to a question, every time you have a difficulty, go back to the story. And the story is that you met one another quite by chance. And out of that, we stand today. Out of that, you have dreams for a whole future ahead of you. Keep adding to the stories of life. And then just keep telling those stories over and over and over again.